going to the Abbey? Well, if you're heading to the Abbey, you should keep your ears open. Their music is famous all over the world. I can hear them sometimes, when the wind is right. Times like that, I don't mind I'm not catching any strike wounds. You must be the adventurer the abbess prayed for. I remember like I saw it yesterday. To the sound of flutes and drums. Our abbess prayed for an adventurer to come and help us. She asked me to stand here and wait for you to arrive. Will you help us, adventurer? Oh, she's dancing in the stillness to the beat of bunting drums. And she's dancing in the city and the crowd. Sarah, don't mean be praised. The abbess's office is just inside the wall. Go in through the gate and head north. Adventurer, thanks Sarah Dolmen, you've come. I've called you here for a sensitive task. One that I would prefer to deal with quietly, without involving the church authorities or the al Kharif guard. I hope I can trust you to be discreet. One of our sisters has been murdered. Murdered quite brutally. I would like you to investigate. The killer may still be in the Abbey. I last saw Sister Anna at Vespers yesterday. When she wasn't present at Compline, I went to her cell and found her body. The murder must have taken place between those times. This is the key to Sister Anna's cell, where I found her body. The cells are in the southeast corner of the abbey. I moved Sister Anna's body to the infirmary in the southwest of the abbey. I cleaned and wrapped it myself, and I've forbidden the other sisters from seeing it. You should also question the sisters around the abbey, but please do so subtly. I don't want them to know there has been a murder. This notebook will help you keep track of your investigation. Come back to me when you've examined the crime scene and the body, and spoken to the sisters.
Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, that's good. Remember to look at me so you can keep in time. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't... Uh... Ladies, keep rehearsing while I talk to this pilgrim. It's a hymn to St. Elspeth. I wrote the music, but the words are tradition. Do you know the story of St. Elspeth and the Ripper? St. Elspeth was a holy warrior who lived during the God Wars. She sang and played the cithara, and her music was so holy that no demon could bear to hear it. Oh, it's an ancient stringed instrument. It's like a lyre. The lyre was a folk instrument, whereas the cithara was a professional instrument. Well, anyway, that's not important. The Ripper was an assassin demon. It would strike without warning and leave its victims horribly mutilated. Stab them through the heart with terrible claws, tear off their faces. Zamorak sent the Ripper to attack a village where St. Elspeth was staying. It couldn't approach while she was singing, but it waited on the edge of the village. She sang for days, but eventually was too weak to go on. She went out of the village to face the demon alone. She thought it might just kill her and spare the villagers. She fought the demon, and it mortally wounded her. But as she was dying, Saradonin granted her the strength to sing one piercing note so perfect that it struck the demon dead. Her remains lay unburied until the present age. Then, 70 years ago, a group of holy women found them and built this abbey in her memory. That's why music is such an important part of our worship. I don't know. They say some demons can return after being killed, but the God Wars were thousands of years ago. Well, I'd like to think so, but I don't think we're as holy as St. Elspeth. I hope we never have to find out. I stayed in here after Vespers to rehearse the choir. She had a powerful voice and a rock solid sense of rhythm. The whole congregation could listen to her to keep in time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, she's dead, and all I can think of is how much the choir needed her. I'm too single-minded sometimes. I think she kept us in time in more ways than one, though. She was our moral center, an example of holiness. We all miss her terribly. I'm aware he's there. I think the abbess was right to forbid him from coming inside. You've got to understand, the Sithereed Order considers music to be holy. It should be used for worship and contemplation, not for dancing. Dancing is so often connected with other immorality. As interesting as it would be to hear a different style of music, I should stay away.
What is it? What is it? Cabbage soup. It's amazing what you can do with cabbages if they're all you have to cook with. Do you have an important question, adventurer? I'm quite busy. I was here in the kitchen. Why? Where should I have been? I went down to the cellar to get some supplies at one point, but the rest of the time I was here. Actually, I noticed something when I was down there. I think someone's been stealing food from the cellar. I bet it was Katerina. Novices have to be taught discipline. I've seen her sneaking an extra cup of wine at meal times. She's the one you should be talking to. She's with Sarah Dolmin now. It doesn't matter what I thought of her, and it does no good to speak ill of the dead. I didn't say that. But she did cause conflict. Most of the sisters didn't see it, but I did. She was always arguing with the abbess. Sister Anna thought Sister Benita was too lenient with the Order's rules. Anna would have enforced silence outside of services. She'd have stopped Sister Cecilia from pausing. Prescribed melodies only. Maybe it's Sarah Dolman's will that Sister Anna never got to become abbess. I don't know. It's not my place to say. I don't know anything about the troubadour. I didn't even know he was there. What troubadour? Secular music is forbidden. So if there is a troubadour outside, then Abbas Benita will send him away. I don't have time to talk about troubadours. Is there anything else you need? Again, adventurer, how can I help? I was in the scriptorium copying a manuscript. I'm still learning how to illuminate the text. I've copied nearly the whole of the book of Saradomin. I'm quite well, I know I shouldn't be, but I'm quite proud of it. Perhaps you'd like to see it, uh, after the funeral service, if, if you're still here. All right. I'll have to check if that's allowed, though. Come back and speak to me after the funeral. She was so holy. She thought about Sarah Doman all the time, never about herself. I don't know if I'll ever be as holy as that. She interviewed me when I applied to join the Abbey. It, it was like she could see right into my heart. To be honest, at first, she frightened me. I'm not surprised the other applicant left after she met her. It's so exciting that he's come to visit us. I saw him smiling at me when I was outside waiting for you. I kind of wish I could go out and dance. I used to like dancing, but I'm in the order now, and dancing isn't allowed. Adventurer, if I can ask, why are you asking these questions? Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. I'll never be a full sister if I keep asking questions like that. Sister Anna always told me I shouldn't ask questions. Is there anything else I can do for you, adventurer? She was so holy. She thought about Sarah Doman all the time, never about herself. I don't know if I'll ever be as holy as that. She interviewed me when I applied to join the Abbey. 
It, it was like she could see right into my heart. To be honest, at first, she frightened me. I'm not surprised the other applicant left after she met her. Oh, another applicant came to the Abbey the other day. Her name was Isabella. She disappeared yesterday noon. She probably went home. A lot of applicants realize the life isn't for them and leave. Sister Katerina, is that you? It's no good, Katerina. I can't hear you. I'll be out of here in a minute. Just need to get the, um... Could you do me a favor, Katerina? The clock is 20 minutes fast right now. Could you set it for the right time? Sorry, should have reminded you. Remember, you're seeing the clock from the inside, so it's back to front from your point of view. Try again. Ah, yes, that's it. Ah, you set the clock to the hour, so any moment now it should... Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were Sister Katerina. She's normally the one who comes up here. What can I do for you? Huh? Between what and what? Oh, I came back up here, tried to finish this set of repairs. I was a clockmaker before I joined the Abbey. Now I'm the only one who knows how to repair the Abbey clock. A part breaks that you'd expect it to hold for years, but that doesn't stop the whole mechanism. It just sets it in a different direction. Sarah Domin is a better clockmaker than us. Sister Benita was planning to retire as abbess next year. Everyone expected Sister Anna to become the new abbess. But it seems that wasn't Sarah Domin's plan, so he's taken her away. The clock runs. Just not as we'd expected. What? There's a Minotaur outside? Have we closed the gates? Oh, yes. Uh, Sister Katerina mentioned something about that. Uh, she seemed very excited. I'm too busy with the clock to worry about visitors. It's not like I could hear his music anyway. I don't know if you've noticed, 
but I'm a bit deaf. It's spending all my time close to the bell when it goes off that did that. Greetings, traveler. To the sound of flutes and drums, she took my hand and danced with me. It's a song about someone I knew a long time ago. Oh, she's dancing in the stillness to the beat of bouncing drums. I was. I knew her before she joined the abbey. I tried to talk her out of coming here, but when she made her mind up about something, there was nothing that could stop her. One of the sisters here, Sister Anna, she passed away recently. I knew her before she joined the Abbey, so I've come to pay my respects. I have my ear to the ground. Even a religious order isn't completely cut off from the world. Oh, yesterday evening I was in al -Qarid. I didn't travel up here until this morning. Why are you asking all this anyway? Now she's What's going on? The sunset, I can see her in the clouds. I can see her in the sky. <sighs> it's a Zafra queen. The abbess can and order her sister not to be curious, but not me. Anna was my friend, and, and I have a right to know what's happening. This conversation more. is over. What is it? Please help us, adventurer. You'll need to examine Sister Anna's body, search her... You're not suspecting me, are you? Very well. I suppose it is good that you're thorough. I was here in my office. You might be surprised how much paperwork is involved in running a religious order. I've never seen anyone as devoted to Sarah Domin as Sister Anna was. All the other sisters looked up to her. I don't know much about her life before the Abbey. All she told me was that she'd led a highly immoral life, and she was glad she'd put it behind her. She was my assistant. She would have been my successor when I eventually retired, and she was also my friend. Please, adventurer, bring her killer to justice. I don't know what he's doing here. I haven't allowed him into the Abbey. The sisters are rehearsing Sister Anna's funeral. The last thing we need is a secular musician tempting them away from their duties. It's not from any of our robes. It looks like it's from some traveling clothes. Her name was Isabella. She was here for a few days. Sister Anna and I both interviewed her. She wasn't allowed to mix much with the other sisters. 
She stayed in the applicant dormitory, which is directly to the west of this room. It's not unusual for a woman to decide this life isn't for her. We don't pass judgment if someone doesn't say goodbye. I wouldn't say we argued. We disagreed about certain theological issues. We had many invigorating discussions that I suppose an eavesdropper could mistake for arguments. Please help us, adventurer. You'll need to examine Sister Anna's body, search her cell, and question the sisters in the Abbey. You're doing a good job, but I have a feeling you're still missing something. What is it? Cabbage soup. Do you have an important question, adventurer? I'm quite busy. Again, adventurer, how can I help? I was in the scriptorium copying a manuscript. I'm still learning how to illuminate the text. I've copied nearly the whole of the book of Saradomin. I'm quite well, I know I shouldn't be, but I'm quite proud of it. Perhaps you'd like to see it after the funeral service if, if you're still here. All right. I'll have to check if that's allowed, though. Come back and speak to me after the funeral. It's so exciting that he's come to visit us. I saw him smiling at me when I was outside waiting for you. I kind of wish I could go out and dance. I used to like dancing, but I'm in the order now, and dancing isn't allowed.
Please help us, adventurer. You'll need to examine Sister Anna's body, search her cell, and question the sisters in the Abbey. Whom do you suspect? Did you hear that? Quick, follow the sound of that scream. Got to protect us. The demon is back. What's happening here? Oh, great Sarah Domin. Sister Eleanor. I saw it, Abbas. It was the demon. It was the Ripper. Sister Cecilia, go back to the oratory. Get yourself cleaned up. Adventurer, there's no point in my trying to keep this from the sisters anymore. I'll let them know what's happening. Please, adventurer, investigate Sister Eleanor's murder, then talk to me in my study. Adventurer, thanks, Sarah Domin, you're still here. Please tell me you're making some progress.
Greetings, traveler. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you asking this? I didn't write any letters. It must be from someone else. Eleanor is dead? She wasn't happy. She could have been so much more. She had the courage to leave. I met her when she came down to al to buy supplies. We started writing to one another, hiding letters with boxes of food. I came up to see her last night. There was a hole in the kitchen wall that she used to smuggle me in. That's how I learned that Anna had died. Eleanor told me. I wanted to publicly pay my respects, so I snuck back to al Rid and came here with my band. Adventurer, you don't think Eleanor could have been killed because of me? Both the victims were people I knew. Could someone have found the letters and... If there's anything I can do to help bring this killer to justice, let me know. I can see her dancing barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. To the sound of flutes and drums, she took my hand and danced with me. I kept dancing once the music went away. We're all going to die. It's going to kill us all. There's no escape. I... I heard the scream. I heard Sister Eleanor screaming. So I went down the stairs to see and... And it was there! The river! Just like in the stories. It was wrapped in rags and it had its huge claws and... It was bending over Sister Eleanor. It was cutting her feet with its claws. Why would it do that? Then it saw me. It turned its head. It looked at me. I couldn't see its face. Thanks, Saradomi. If I'd seen its face, I think I might have died of fright. It pushed past me. Sister Elena's blood onto my robe. And then it ran up the stairs and away. We can't let it defeat us. Almighty Saradomi, give me the strength to, to not be afraid. All right, ladies. The abbess told you what happened. This funeral service will be for two of us now. We're going to trust Saradomin, and we're not going to be afraid. We're going to sing like Saint Elspeth, and the demon isn't going to be able to hurt us. Okay, from the top, look at me. Adventurer, thanks Sarah Doman, you're still here. Please tell me you're making some progress. Whom do you suspect? I suppose it's possible. I want to be absolutely sure before we move, though. Whoever the killer is, I'm worried that they'll strike again. I want to make sure that all the sisters are safe in the Abbey. Sister Katerina is outside dancing. I don't want to pass judgment on her, not now. But I think she'd be safer inside. Could you go and fetch her, please?
with me, adventurer? me adventurer all right I should finish copying my book of Saradonin I'll be in the scriptorium if you want to talk to me It's no good. She's dead. <laughs> it pierced her heart. Good night, sweet thing. You could have been a dancer. What was that sound? Adventurer? Oh, merciful Saradonin. Sister Katarina, is she? I'm afraid so. This must end. Adventurer. Troubadour, please meet me in my office. We need a plan. The killer is going to strike again, unless we catch them. I'm not a member of your order, Abbas. I don't know why you would trust me here. All the sisters of my order are suspects. The two of you are the only people I have seen in the same place as the killer. So you are the only people I can trust. I will not let this defeat us. We must arrive at a plan. Adventurer, after all you've seen, whom do you now suspect? If you're right, she must be hiding somewhere nearby. We need a way to find her. That could work. But how would we bait it? That could tempt the killer out. But who? I don't think the killer is indiscriminate. What do the victims so far have in common? I know about your involvement with Sister Eleanor, and perhaps the killer could have seen Sister Katerina dancing and thought that. But what about Sister Anna? She hadn't left the Abbey for years. Ah, you do not know. I knew Anna many years ago. She was a dancing girl, part of the troupe that I joined when I was first a troubadour. Back then she was so full of life, passionate. Everything she did, she threw her whole body and soul into it. Then when we met that traveling preacher and she caught religion, she threw her whole body and soul into that as well. We wrote to one another at first and... She never mentioned you to me. 
All she would say was that her past life was sinful, and she wanted to put it behind her. Yes. That was the impression I got from her last letters. When I met Eleanor in Al-Karid and started seeing her, we had to keep our affair secret, so I couldn't see Anna. I wanted to. A part of me was always hoping she'd discover us. Enough! We don't need to go through the sordid details. We've established a connection. But how does it help us? I have a dancing girl traveling with me. If we were to announce that she was joining the Abbey... I can't allow her to be put in danger. There must be another way. She will be in no danger. She will be hiding in my camp. We can make a dummy, dress it in your robes, and our adventurer can hide nearby and wait. Hmm, but I'm not sure where. In the basement. During the funeral service, all the sisters will be in the oratory. It will be the perfect time for the killer to strike. It seems we have a plan. Valerio, you and I can handle the announcement. Adventurer, you will need to make the dummy in the basement. Once you're ready, you can hide in the robe cabinet and wait. Whether this killer be demon or mortal, I swear they will not kill again. Saradomen, go with all of us. barefoot there are flowers in her hair I remember like I saw it yesterday
walking barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. To the sound of flutes and drums, she took my hand and danced with me. And we kept dancing once the music went away. in the stillness to the beat of bouncing drums and she's dancing in the city and the crowd and she's dancing on the stay back make any move and i'll kill her and her beauty makes me want to shout aloud let me walk out of the abbey to safety and then i'll release her adventurer don't Spirit of Saint Elspeth, Sarah Domin's voice of justice. It's Sister Anna. She's gone mad. to be in this abbey. Saint Elspeth commanded me to remove them. Now she is dancing in the sunset. I can see her in the clouds. I was I repentant. That's the difference. The sky is not as tall. I spent my whole Once life in penitence for the sins of my youth. And now Abbess Benita let any dancing girl join the abbey. Let them go outside and dance when a, a troubadour arrives. Turns a blind eye to their affairs. Games nothing to me. That part of my life is gone. Kill her! Spawn of Zamorak! Demons and saints look the same to those whose eyes are blinded by evil. No! It is Saint Elspeth! Get away from me, Tempter of Zamorak! My mind has never been so clear. I burn with the holy fire of Saradomin. Stay back! Make any move and I'll kill her! Demons and saints look the same to those whose eyes are blinded by evil. No! It is Saint Elspeth! Get away from me, Tempter of Zamorak!
Good thinking, adventurer. I'm just shaken. I don't normally get that much excitement. Perhaps Sarah Doomin gave me strength. As a good Sarah Dominis sister, I cannot take a life. I'll see you downstairs, adventurer. Sister Deborah, she did nothing wrong. I have not been the voice of St. Elspeth. I have been the hand of the Ripper. Please, adventurer, if you have any mercy. Give me a moment to pray for forgiveness before I die. Thanks, Sarah Domin, it's over, adventurer. Sister Deborah told me what you did, but she didn't say who the killer was. She said you should be the one to tell us. Who was it? Who killed Anna and the others? Then Sarah Domin was truly with you, adventurer. Every death was a tragedy, but we should also take this as a confirmation of our faith. Zamorak would only send an assassin demon against someone of exceptional holiness. I cannot offer you much of a reward, adventurer, but please accept a set of the Order's robes. They are enchanted. Wearing them will allow you to meditate on music in order to grow closer to Saradomin. <laughs> 